the first human in history to get the Neuralink brain chip. If this turns out to be successful, then this is going to be a massive milestone for all of medicine. Here he is interacting with a computer. There are no wires. He is controlling the mouse with his brain. I mean, this is as close to telekinesis as we can get. The Neuralink chip has four parts to it. 64 wires thinner than a human hair and 1024 electrodes, which are connected to the central processing unit or the N1 chip, which gets its power from this battery and covered by this biocompatible material. The wires are implanted into the part of the brain called the motor cortex. When somebody is paralyzed from the neck down, their brain is still working just fine. It's just that the signals are not sent down the spinal cord and to their extremities. So this chip will read the signals coming from the part of the brain called the motor cortex. It will interpret those signals and translate them into a computer programming language. That information is then processed and interfaced with a Bluetooth device to then convey that information to a computer. But to get the wires in the exact right location, it has to be 